Hey guys, um, I just was hopping on here just to say a couple things. One, I miss you. I miss you all very, very much. Um, Mommy, I miss you. And Beck, I hope you're having fun. I love you very much and I wish I was hanging out with you. Mm. And Violet, oh, I miss you. I wish you could cuddle up with me in bed at night and we could sleep the day away. But I miss all three of you very, very much. But I did think of an idea. Um, since I'm not there to read bedtime stories, I thought it would be fun if I read a bedtime story you here, and then you can just play it whenever you feel like seeing Daddy and reading a bedtime story. So, the one I picked is the Zombies, Plants vs. Zombies, The Three Little Pigs. That seems to be a popular one right now. So, without further ado, let me uh, let me kick this off. Mm -hmm. I'll have to read at an angle here, and hopefully you guys can see. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. They lived in different houses, because when they tried living in the same house, well, it became a filthy pigsty. The first little pig lived in a straw house. One day, a hungry wolf banged on the door. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, he roared. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, the pig replied. That made the wolf very angry. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll... And what? asked the first little pig, but the wolf said nothing. The pig slowly opened the door, but instead of the wolf, there was a zombie standing there. Brains, said the zombie. Yikes, squealed the little pig, slamming the door. He was so scared, his curly tail went straight. I better use my brain before the zombie eats it, the pig said. Thank goodness this little piggy went to the market, so the pig grabbed a bag of seeds and went to a small backyard garden. The pig planted sunflowers and then lots of pea shooters, and he shouted, Rest in peas, zombies. Pop, pop, pop. But he couldn't plant them fast enough. The zombies kept coming, so the little pig ran for his life. All the way to the second little ho pig's house. It was made of sticks with a larger backyard garden. The pig knocked on the door. Brother pig, brother pig, let me come in. Zombies want to eat my brainy brain brains. The two little pigs ran into the backyard garden. And the second little pig whined. I was just about to take a mud bath. How about a cherry smoothie instead, said the first pig. And they planted cherry bombs everywhere. Brains, mumbled the zombies as they approached. Kaboom, went the cherry bombs. The plants slowed down the zombies, but they kept on coming. Even overgrown football zombies and angry, bald newspaper zombies. Eek, said the second pig. That zombie can read. Run, said the first little pig, and so they ran for their lives. All the way to the third little pig's house. It was made of bricks with an enormous backyard. The pigs knocked on the door. Brother pig, brother pig, let us come in. Zombies want to eat our brainy brain brains. The third little pig laughed. I told you zombies were real. Yeah, they're really hungry for our brains, the zombie interrupted. The three little pigs squealed and ran into the backyard garden. The first little pig planted sunflowers and pea shooters. The second little pig planted cherry bombs and walnuts. And the third little pig was a big fan of french fries. So he planted potato mines and yelled, let's mash some zombies. We did it, cheered the three little pigs. And then the third little pig gasped and pointed to the red flag. Look, he oinked, a huge wave of zombies is approaching. Brain, said the zombies, staggering towards the frightened pigs. Follow me, said the third little pig, and he led the others up onto the roof. Too bad the zombies followed. The second little pig whined, oh, I wish pigs could fly. Ha, said the first little pig, you're such a ham. Start planting, yelled the third little pig. For a moment, the zombies were confused and started digging into the pots but they soon figured out that they were supposed to attack, and the pig, pigs planted sunflowers, snow peas, squash, tall nuts, and pumpkins. The zombies kept advancing. The pigs kept squealing. Break out the serious vegetables, said the third little pig, grabbing cabbage pulse and kernel pulse. It's time for zombie salad. Ew, said the first little pig. Cabbages and corn flew through the air, knocking down the zombies. 
The first little pig clasped his trotters. I used to hate garbage or cabbage. Now I love it like my only brother. The other two pigs looked very confused. And at last, all the zombies were gone, and the pigs won. And the pigs threw a party to celebrate their victory. They even invited the wolf, but he was too scared to come. They had a big mud bath and lived happily ever after. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story. Um, maybe you can just, you know, play it right before bed and think of me, because I'm certainly here thinking of you. And then maybe tomorrow night um, I could try to pick another book, maybe like Rotten Ralph or something, and send, and send a video your way. Anyway, love you very much. Miss you guys. I'll talk to you soon.